Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound, and we're going to look at yet another amazing plugin from Adobe Audition that we use in post production all the time. This is the DSer. Let's jump in. All right, we're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never opened Adobe Audition before, I invite you to come to the cinemasound.com site and stream our Adobe Audition 123 program. It takes you from I've never opened it before to some pretty great results and great deliverables and the ease with the program. But here we are, we have a very simple bit of dialogue here in the timeline. Let's take a listen to it. Here. My first reaction, let me just say this. I was really glad we were drinking. So, uh, you know, nice female dialogue, no problem, but a lot of sibilance, a lot of S's. My first reaction, let me just say this. Like especially, let me just say this. We'll put this into a loop, making sure that the loop mode is on, which it is. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. And that just, that just hurts. That's really bright. Now, of course, I'm actually adding some brightness to it to the parametric with the parametric EQ, which we have another video about knowing how to use. But let's add the deesser. Now, I could put this on the clip itself by selecting the arrow tool here, clicking on the clip and going to effects and pulling down any of these effects, or by instantiating them in the clip effects menu here uh, in the effects rack. But we wanna actually add this to the entire track. I'm sorry, that rhymes. So we're gonna click on track effects and there's that EQ that we have. Um, and then we're going to go amplitude and compression, de -esser. Now this is a really cool de and one of the best in any digital audio workstations anywhere. What is all of this? Well, let's take a look. With, with a de what it really is, is a narrow band compressor. And we have a lot of videos on how to use compression and in fact on how to use the single and multi-band and tube, com uh, tube modeled compressor here at Adobe Audition. But a compressor basically disallows a signal to go over a particular threshold. And once it does, it starts to get reduced. Well, we don't want that for the whole sound. Maybe we like it, but we just want a specific frequency where the S sounds are. So this is what this is. And you can see the whole frequency spectrum down here in the bottom, low frequencies to high frequencies. And this bar right here denotes the width that this compressor is both going to be sensitive to and what it's going to be reducing. Now you can actually say, even though it's sensitive to this band, to actually bring the whole thing down. This could be especially useful in the case where you have a sound effect and you have a lot of bright energy with it and whenever it gets too loud, you want the whole thing to come down. You might even want it for vocals, but typically we don't. Typically we want it to be on multiband. We're gonna audition both of these in a second. Here's your threshold. How quickly does the attenuation start? And then where is the center frequency and how wide an area do you want it? And then you can actually audition the sibilance itself to make sure you're just getting it right. And here's your gain reduction. Here's how much of it's actually being worked on. So let's take a listen at how this works. We're gonna start with multiband. Let me just say this. Let you, me just say this. Let me just say this. And you can see the red lines mean that it's attenuating there quite a bit, 10 decibels or so. Um, but we, uh, you know, you can see here, this, this little graph, this is actually the frequency spectrum of the sound. Let me just say this. And you can see that. Let me just say this. S sound. Let me just say this. Is up there. So let's move that up. My guess is it's around seven and a half, maybe 8K. And we want that bandwidth to encompass all that. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. You can hear it right away. Let me just say this. Sort of sounds like she's got a cleft palate or something. Let me just say this. And we can double check by going to output sibilance. Let me just say this. And we want to have it here. We want to have it sound really awful. Then we know we're hitting it. Let me just say this. Let's move down. Let me just say this. No, up. Let me just say this. Not quite. Let me just say this. That's where it's really mean. Let me just say this. Let's see if we can get it narrow. Let me just say this. Ooh. Let me just say this. Yeah, 83 ish. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. That's mean. Now, how are we doing? Let me just say this. See, now we've got that bad part of the frequency. We don't want to necessarily kill all the frequency, all the sibilance, just that bad part. Let me just say this. And that's pretty strong. Let me just say this. That's 12 dB. Let me just say this. That's a lot. Now watch what happens if we do broadband. See, on multiband, again, we're just doing, we're being sensitive to that bar, that zone, and only reducing that zone. Let's go to broadband and notice, see if you can tell the difference. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Let me just say this. You hear how the whole voice is kind of pumping, pumping every time she has an S? And with a microphone 
vocalist combination where you have a lot of high S's, sometimes that can be fine. But if you have somebody like a vocalist like this or a talent like this, whose voice, um, especially with a sound like a zzz, uh, as, as opposed to the hard zzz, whenever you get a zzz or, or somebody whose voice kind of is incorporated, their sibilants aren't so bad, but they're incorporated into the sound, a broadband reduction, you can hear them, the whole voice getting ducked, just like here. Let me just say this. It's just boom. Let me just say this. Right. But on multiband... Let me just say this. It's beautiful. Let me just say this. Beautifully done. Now up here we have the same kinds of things that we have on every Adobe Audition plugin. We've got presets. So you can actually do all kinds of things that you want, um, uh, an individual microphone or an individual scene or an individual actor, and have a whole host of these available that you can just pull them up on demand really quickly. And you would save this, param this particular parameter set by clicking on this icon here, and then you name it, and then it shows up here for the rest of your life, amen. And here's where you would trash particular presets, and then obviously the usual routing that we talk about in the Cinema Sound Education. Down here, of course, in the bottom, you have it turned on and turned off. So let's just take a listen with it off. Let me just say this. Oof, and on. Let me just say this. So much nicer. That's how we use the de in Adobe Audition. So if you've watched this video or any of the other hundreds of videos here on Cinema Sound and gotten great value, please subscribe to us and come visit us at cinemasound.com. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're stuck.